from Mr. Gilmore's class. Sixth period, um, science B, and yeah. All right, I'm going to show you how meiosis works. Meiosis through cookies. These, these will be our chromosomes for today, and what we will create our chocolate chip cookies, and those will be our sex cells. Cool with that? Awesome. That was awkward. I've got to prepare the dough. No! Okay, so here's where I get to explain meiosis. Okay, so let's explain it like this. You, you have your cell, and it has, it starts off with, okay, so obviously I cannot put 46 chocolate chips in this cookie. So, go. Oh, they're leaking. We'll use, eh, say, six. Because having 46, or 40, 46 chocolate chips in one cookie is kind of weird. Okay, so you start off with a sex cell with 46 chromosomes. Now, these chromosomes will double. Let's add a little bit more to it now. And so, leaving you with 12 chocolate chips, or, well, 92 chromosomes. Yes, I had to think about that. Stop judging me. Okay. So, now, these will split evenly, leaving you with, so far, two, oh my god, two cells. But then they would divide again. So we're going to small cookies. Dividing. And you end up with four sex cells. Or four very tiny cookies. Not sure how well those will make. We'll try our best. Okay, so let's keep in mind these are sex cells. So when they're all up and done, They'll create a baby. <clears throat> yeah, that's what's going to happen. So let's say this is the mommy, and she doesn't have any chocolate chips. This is the daddy, and he's got a lot of chocolate chips. And then the this sex cell and this sex cell join to make the perfect cookie or a little baby. if something goes wrong. Let's say you get too many chromosomes or maybe not enough chromosomes. You could end up with something like sickle cell anemia or Down syndrome, I don't know. Just, you end up with some pretty deformed cookies. 